Alright, hello guys. Today we're going to be talking about snowfall that could be affecting the southeastern portions of the United States. Some of those Gulf states like Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, Tennessee, North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia. Areas like that could get involved with some snowfall here. Now there's been a lot of hype surrounding this system and I'm going to be kind of breaking it down model by model. We're going to look first at our European model and this is our most reliable historical uh, model. Uh, based on history, this model would be the most reliable, but... Really, uh, this year it hasn't been as reliable as it has in, has in the past, and we've really been having issues with model guidance all year where not a lot of models have been very reliable, so we have to kind of take all of them into account and break it down like this. So you can see we're starting with some snowfall there in Mississippi, uh, some of those pinks are where we're getting mixed or maybe sleet there, uh, but up through Tennessee and into Kentucky here, and we're going to see that move east as we move on one frame here, and, and that's going to move into Alabama as well, central Alabama, I mean some areas of Louisiana getting involved here in southern Mississippi getting the snow, and you see there's some rain behind it, I, th I think that indicates that we could be looking at some you know off and on mixing as this system goes, I don't think it'll be all snow for anywhere for very long I think this is going to kind of go back and forth and have a lot of mixing issues here so I think this has been surrounded by a lot of hype but I think that it's going to be more of a sloppy mess more than anything more than accumulating snow and you can see as it moves from uh, the Mississippi Alabama area to more of Alabama Georgia North Carolina uh, we see a lot of that green overtake the entire thing and and really we're seeing some snow there for the, for the mountains in North Carolina I think we, we do have a really good shot at, at some good snowfall obviously with the higher elevation but as we move on a frame you can see uh, some areas of central North Carolina and central Virginia getting involved and then southeast Virginia right there at the end uh, by by morning hours of Wednesday. So this is very, very, very soon. I, I'm really bad at saying the time frames for everything, but this is Tuesday night through Wednesday. All of this is going to be taking place, by the way. I'm really bad at mentioning that. I need to get better at that. But here's your snowfall from the ECMWF over the next 60 hours. And you can see we have two inches up in that blue area, and anything under two inches is going to be in that gray. The darker grays is over an inch, uh, and those lighter grays are obviously a dusting. Now, we're going to move on to our GFS model, and here's your snowfall first off for the GFS model. It looks quite similar, two inches in a lot of areas, and then more of a dusting for a lot of other areas. Now, we're going to move frame by frame for the GFS, and we can see there's a lot more convection, meaning more precipitation falling. And it's a little bit more confident in the snowfall rather than the mixing issues. I really like the European model's resolution, or uh, the, the European model's take on this a lot more than I like the GFS's, but we're going to break this down anyway. And you can see some heavier snow there for southern Mississippi through central Alabama uh, up through Tennessee Kentucky portions of western Virginia and into West Virginia and we're going to move on a frame where that moves from Alabama from Mississippi and Alabama into Alabama and Georgia again like we saw in the European model and as we move on one more uh, we're going to see that move into central North Carolina and central Virginia up into like the DC area Maryland and upward and then southeastern Virginia and eastern North Carolina getting in in there. And you can see some pink showing up. That's going to, again, it's going to be really a lot of mixing issues, I think. And that's what this is picking it up on, especially near the coastal areas. And then that moves offshore. Now, one more thing I wanted to mention about the storm is here's a, the NAM, the high resolution 3KM NAM. And you can see this is the snowfall through the next 47 hours, so through the entire system. And it doesn't look quite as impressive as as impressive as some of the lower resolution models this indicates uh, to me that this could this could end up being a big bust this could end up being not a lot of snow for many people uh, and it could be a disappointment because I know there's a lot of winter storm watches and things like that up uh, but this could end up really being a flake and not being very much snowfall at all I think that it'll most likely be one inch uh, and maybe a little bit more in some of the bullseye areas uh, through central Alabama, especially into that southern central Mississippi area. I think that's where your bullseye is going to be, as, as well as the mountains of West Virginia and Tennessee, or sorry, North Carolina and Tennessee. Uh, I think that's going to be your bullseye for this one, where we could be looking at one to two inches, but really going to be spotty with the accumulation outside of that. Anyway, guys, stay safe during this one. I'll see you in the next video.